Hey, what's good? Uh, I'm back. I missed my update uh, last two weeks, but um, I decided to do a video today. I'm at work. I have some downtime, so yeah. Um, some changes I've seen uh, since my last update have been slim to none. Um, no, I mean, there has been some changes, but not drastic. Uh, my voice, for one, has lowered and deepened. Um, I took my injection this morning at 5 o'clock before I came to work. So, what I've noticed so far is when I take my injections, my voice will uh, deepen and it'll stay deep for probably another week and then I feel like it ventures off and gets a little bit more softer um, I don't know if that's a long term thing or just short term until it permanently changes but um, that's the only change with my voice so far that I've noticed um, my mood swings have increased a lot I'm easily angered um, and I don't know sometimes how to adjust with that but other than going to the gym so that's another thing that's changed um, along with my eating habits I was eating a lot when I first began tea and I gained about 15 pounds in three weeks um, I was already heavy like I said before so that was like definitely a no no <laughs> so before I went to go see my doctor last week she um told me to you know hit the gym cut out all the carbs and uh bug, and uh focus more so on weight training and since i've done that i've dropped 10 pounds and i've also started drinking um one gallon of water a day <laughs> So, you know, it's helped out my skin a lot. I don't really get breakouts that much. Like, I see other people. I don't get a lot of breakouts. And uh, I use Clearasil 12-hour scrub. It has helped my skin out a lot. It uh, feels refreshed, moist after I wash my face. And I, had, I don't have to deal with all those pimples and stuff I see a, a lot of people have to deal with. Um... As far as hair on my face, it, there is just a tiny bit. You really have to, like, look at it. And I'm trying to face my face kind of, like, where the sun can beam off to see. If y'all can see what I mean. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. It's not uh, too much. That's that water. It's not too much. Uh, it is a shadow coming right here on my face. Um, my confident level it has skyrocketed a lot and therefore I don't know if that's what's causing a lot of females to uh, show interest in me before I was so shy and reserved and now I'm like what's up <laughs> so yeah so my sex drive I would say is very satisfied because before I just I I wanted it so much, but between, you know, getting it in the gym, I'm able to have some type of self-control. Uh, my clitoris is not, it, it's growing a little bit. It's definitely grown a little bit, but it's not huge or long like I've seen other people's. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I really don't want that to happen. But, you know, if it does, I have to take the good with the bad. Um, so, with that being said, uh, I'm trying to see my energy level. Once I get going, if I'm at the gym, oh man, I don't know how
how to stop until my body gives out. Um, I am definitely lifting more weights than I would ever probably do when I was preteen. Um, 50 pound dumbbells, uh, 30 um, shoulders, I'm on 120, 130, so I'm definitely building more muscle. Um, so stay, stay tuned because I am really loving the gym lately. But I work a lot too. So between that, I mean, I try to make it to the gym um, when I when I when I can, tired or not. But I'm trying to fit in at least three days a week. So stay tuned. My muscles coming soon. I'm coming for all y'all little skinny boys. I want to be skinny, but I want to be muscled. You know, I want to be solid, thick. But you know, to each his own. But anyway, that's it. That's really it, y'all. That's you know, I don't, I don't expect a lot of changes to come within eight weeks. So to all everybody else out there that's doing a tea, I would suggest y'all just you know take it easy. Do what your doctor prescribed you to do. Don't be doing anything else because it is dangerous. I've uh, actually seen somebody or I knew somebody um, whose family member passed away because of tea. Okay, and it wasn't because the doctor made a mistake. I mean, yes, tea affects everybody's body differently, but you you can't miss you can't misuse it if your doctor if uh, your doctor she was she was cute <laughs> if your doctor is telling you to only take you know, your prescription a couple times a week, you know, uh, only do that. Don't self-inject yourself with all, a lot of dose of it because you're actually doing more harm than good. It'll slow down your process more than, uh, to, than what you're expecting. And that's because a lot of, a lot of testosterone turns to estrogen when it doesn't have the use for it. So, you know, take your time. This is a process. We all want to get there. But there's no rush. There's no rush. And honestly, guys, I'm not doing this for, I mean, yes, I'm going to have a lot of masculine features and ways. And I don't desire a beard. I, I, I don't desire none of that stuff. Physically, I desire to be more masculine. That's it. Physically. I desire to be more masculine. But, you know, I still haven't thought much about, you know, cutting my breast off or or anything like that. That's a little drastic. Or getting downstairs redone. I'm perfectly fine with the strap. Like, you know, I, I can't do it. I can't do all that. So, I don't want to. I can, but I don't want to. But anyways, I'm not going to talk y'all ear off. I know y'all have things to do. So, until next time, people. I'll holler. I'll holler at y'all. Y'all be good. Alright? One.